Good morning. Hi, guys. How are you all? Happy Thursday. Today is a quick mama out the door glam. So today I'm just going to come out here and kind of just do what I do when I do my makeup in a hurry. I'm not actually, fingers crossed, not really necessarily in that much of a hurry this morning, but I feel like it's pretty important to show you guys how to have like a streamlined makeup routine that you can kind of do on your own and you can do it quickly out the door. I know I do these steps with you typically every time I do my makeup, but if I'm sitting here doing my makeup on my own, I can get this done in like 10 to 12 minutes. So here are my tips for a quick, quick mama glam out the door. Okay, so first off, I did I did put on my foundation and concealer. Um, not on accident, I'm really honest with you, I forgot to go live as I was doing it. So I'm sitting here, I'm like, oh my God, forgot to click the live button. So um, that is totally my fault. So at this point, I have put on my foundation and my concealer. I always incorporate this into my routine. I don't really go without this um, unless it's like the weekends and I'm running errands or for whatever the case is. But I always do this when I put my makeup on. I always put on my foundation and concealer. So I have just put that on. I use Velour um, Mineral Touch Foundation and I worked it in with my Equal Tool Sponge and I use Scarlet um, Under Eye Concealer. So let's get this going. So let me show you guys how I kind of skip some steps. There are important steps I won't skip and I'm gonna tell you why. Um, I'm gonna set my eyes. Now I am out of my translucent powder. I have a backup right here, but I have the little um, applicator in here. So I'm just gonna set this with a brush today. Um, so when I am out the door, honestly, my main focus is just having my face on. Um, I will typically just throw on mascara and maybe an eyeliner. I won't even put eyeshadow on. Um, so you could kind of like pick and choose what you like to do um, and like what you like or what you feel you look best in in a hurry. You don't have to do 85 steps in the morning um, to get yourself put together. So again, two things I've done so far. Um, besides prepping my face, I have my foundation and my concealer on. So now I am going to use my, here it is. This is my e.l.f. brush. I love this brush. And I'm just going to set my under eyes with this. So instead of, you know, this is quicker. So this is like a way to kind of quicken up your other steps. So yes, I love using my sponge to set my under eyes. But hey, if I'm in a hurry, I'll just grab a brush and do it. You know, maybe for whatever reason, my, I don't have time to dampen my sponge or maybe I used a, like a brush for my foundation. I will set my eyes with just a brush with the translucent powder and it looks just as amazing as it does with a damp sponge. So that is a quick tip to kind of speed up that part of your makeup. Now, I always, always, always set my face with powder. That's just how I am. It is just in my bones. Hi girls, good morning, Jojo and Diana and Jane. Um, I always set my makeup, so I will not skip that step. I know myself. Um, having my powder on my face, I know my makeup's gonna stay in place, so I do not skip this. So I am going in with my Mineral Touch Press, nope, I'm sorry, this is just a pressed powder foundation, and Poplin. And I am just pressing this into my skin, like so. So I will not skip this step. And you will see, like like I said before in the beginning of the video, I, if I'm gonna skimp on any steps, it's gonna be on my eyes, I will always do my face. That is just, if I have to pick and choose, I will always pick my face with lashes over doing like eyeshadow. Okay, so that is set. I feel like the face too takes quicker it's just quicker anyways like once you have like a really nice routine down it's just quicker for you to do anyways i think sometimes eyeshadow is more intricate and it could take more time okay let's bronze i'm gonna go in with my hermosa beach front bronzer and i'm just going to bronze my cheeks i always put a little bit of color on my cheeks it just brings back a little bit of life. So how are you guys doing? How is your week so far? It's Thursday, one day closer to the weekend. 
you guys have anything fun going on this weekend? Okay. So I am just bronzing. You don't even have to contour. You can just apply bronzer. So this is a good way to just throw some color on and, and move on. You know, you don't even have to go in and contour if you don't want to. You know, you could totally just add a little bit of bronzer and move on. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with, I have a smaller brush, and I'm just going to go in and kind of define this part of my cheek. But do you see how quick this is? Like, it's like no time at all. Just a couple steps. So again, this step is really just sharpening out my cheekbone. Takes no time at all. And then when I'm, like, like I said, when you're in a hurry, take your brush, pinch the brush. If you like to nose contour like I do, just take it right down. Oh God, I hate the dentist. Jane, I have to go at the end of the month. Every time I go, they're gonna tell me any of my wisdom teeth out and they're still in. And then I go like once now and then once during tax season, I go, well, I can't get out during tax season. So I feel your pain. I know. Don't go into the dentist is just, ugh. You got to do it. But I don't like going. Okay. So, you guys see how easy that was? <laughs> well, they got those drugs there. I feel like everyone is scared of the dentist. Okay. So. Let me just comb out my little baby hairs, you guys. Um, so that is bronzer. Did you see how quick that was? So what I did was I really just took the, I really, I took the brush I used for my under eyes, whatever's left on it, and I applied it right on my nose to soften the lines on my nose, okay? Remember, quick, quick, quick. Because when you are a mom or you, everyone's busy, life happens, everyone has a job, everyone has somewhere to be, some days you can't do everything that you want to do. Totally get it. I'm just blending down, you guys, because I'm a little bit pale. A little bit pale, girls. Okay, so what I'm going to do, instead of using like my, I have like a two-step highlight system, you don't need two highlighters every day, and I know that. But use one highlighter. Today I'm going to use Iridescent. It's a powder highlighter. In a hurry. Oh, like pow uh, powdering. Contouring with powders is always quicker. That's why I always use powders. I like to contour quickly. You know, I come on here and I do these tutorials for you guys, but I truly don't have that much time. <laughs> so I just get used to doing them, you know, like on a more fast pace basis. But still. Contouring with powder is always quicker. So I have on my powder highlight. Now let's go in with blush. I'm going to use, we'll use whatever I can find first. So I'm going to use stunning. Let's use stunning. This is this bright pink one, but it's so beautiful on. You only need, need a little bit. And um, yes, it is a more frightening color in the pan, but I'm telling you, it's very pretty. And I just, whoa, Cameron, whoa. You kicking up a storm. Kicking over there. Just a little bit. You don't need a lot. Okay. Now let's move on. What I will not skip. Eyebrows. I won't skip my eyebrows. This is why this month's kudos, you guys, is like the best deal. Like if you are someone who is busy or you want a couple products to make you feel put together in the mornings, this month's kudos is the way to go. It is an eyebrow palette, it is an eyebrow brush, mascara, and an eyeliner. That is the way to get yourself ready out the door in a hurry. So I, like I said, will not skip on my eyebrows. I just won't. They are very blonde. They um, are much lighter than my base color. Uh, with my hair, so I fill in my eyebrows, but with this powder, I can fill in my brows so quickly, and you guys have seen me do this time and time again. I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see my brow brow. I've never zoomed in before on the live. Hello, we're zoomed. So I started with the baseline, and I'm just drawing like the line on top. I'm just following the My own hair growth. Okay. 
And then I, ch I take my brush and I flip it vertically and I draw my hair like strokes. Do you guys see how quick this is? I love, love, love this pattern. And it's too, like, if, like, say you are quick and you make a mistake or you make an error or whatever the case is, it is so easy to work out. You guys see? I'll keep you on this side. We'll, we'll keep you close for now. Okay. As you guys can see if I need to get my eyebrows tweezed or waxed. Okay, so again, drawing a baseline. You draw a line on top. And when you dip this, okay, so this powder has like a wax and like two powder shades and two highlighter shades. When you dip this powder into the wax, it almost creates like a pomade. It's, and then it's so easy to blend. It's like the easiest thing. You guys see how quick that is? A couple more steps and then we are done with brows. See how quick? Let me unzoom. Woo, there we go. See? Done and done. Now, here's where you pick and choose what you want to do. Um, if you love eyeliner, throw on your eyeliner. If you are a mascara girl and don't need eyeliner, go with your mascara. Um, if you are a girl who likes eyeshadow, maybe just throw in a transition shade in your crease. It's totally what you want to do, but this is what I do. And when I'm in a hurry and I can't commit to an eyeshadow routine, I will take my bronzer because it is sitting in front of me. And I will just throw this in my transition shade like this. Again, there's nothing, I didn't even like set my eye. Actually, no, I lied, I did, I did with my translucent powder. Um, I'm just throwing on my bronzer like so. <laughs> I love when he laughs, it's so cute. What's so funny, Cameron? Are your friends really funny? Okay, bronzer. And my eyes. Now, the last step I will do. No, I lied. There's a couple more steps. I am gonna put on my eyeliner. And I'm gonna put on mascara, and then I'm gonna put on a quick lip, quick lip color, and then I am done. So, let's locate my Stila Stay All Day Liner. I will put this on. Now I have to go to work, um, so I typically wear eyeliner when I go to work. I don't want to scare away any clients. No, I'm just joking. Um, but I wear eyeliner at work. But if this was like the weekend or like, you know, the evening and I really like didn't need eyeliner, you could totally skip this step. But um, I do wear eyeliner to work. So I'm going to throw this on as quickly as I can. You guys saw how quick that was. And then we are going to go in with the Epic Mascara. And then we are going to go in with our lips. So Epic Mascara. Um, I will not, not, not skip my I will never skip mascara. I won't. So we have to do it. I'm going to go in with the Epic. This is the normal black. Water, or no, waterproof I'm not using. This is the normal one. Excuse me. I'm so sorry. My mind is going a mile a minute. And I just apply this to my lashes. So lashes in a good lip color, you will always look put together. I truly believe that there is like, you will never not look put together. If you have on a little bit of mascara and a lip color, doesn't have to be like a crazy lip color, just something on your lips. But like for me personally, I'm like, but no, I need concealer, but no, I need blush. No, when it comes down to it, mascara and lips, and I'm telling you, you will be looking good. So 
This mascara, I cannot say enough about it. You guys, if you watch my videos, you know this mascara is literally the shizzy. The bee's knees. My lashes look so long with the Epic Mascara. And then I'm gonna go with my lower lashes. So we skipped any under eye makeup today, which is totally fine, you don't need it. Like that. We're going with one more coat. And then we're gonna use the new lip powders. You guys are so cool, I cannot get enough of these new lip powders. And again, one step lip. We don't need anything crazy. We're just gonna do a pretty pinky nude lip and we're out the door. But you could totally do like anything. Okay, so like you could totally, I love to a really clean eye and like a bright lip. I love that look. So you could totally take it that way too. Like say you have on just a really simple eye makeup look, but you wanna rock a red lip or rock like a pink fuchsia lip. Oh my God, do it. Do it, do it, do it. I love that look. Okay, I know this takes forever, I'm so sorry. But look at my lashes. Like look, they look up, can you see them? So good. So, one step lip, here we come. You get out my lip bag. And we are going to do, let's see, what are we going to do today? Casual, contrite, or boy. Let's do contrite. Let's do contrite, girly girls. Okay, I'm going to put my mirror up so I can see. This is the new lip powders. I have three shades. These are stunning. I bought um, the nude ones because I... I always like trying out new nudes. So I have these three. I have Contrite. This is Koi, well peachy, nudie, and then this is Casual, this pink one. They're all awesome. They're all in my lip bag, which means they're my current favorites. If they make it to the lip bag, that means they're my current favorites. Whoa, Cameron, whoa. Whoa, you scared me. Oh, I'm blocking this. I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm blocking it. Ooh. My mirror was blocked or my little compact was blocking it. Okay. That's all I'm going to do. Out the door. Okay. All of us have had those mornings where we don't have time to devote to doing our makeup and hair. So here we are today. So again, this is a new lip powder. This is in the shade Contrite. And this is my face with, honestly, very minimal makeup, minimal steps. But I look put together and ready for the day, okay? So any moms out there or any, I don't care who you are. If you're a student, if you are a mom, a grandma, I don't care who you are. These are easy steps to get yourself looking good in less than, I want to say, like, if I wasn't talking less than 10 minutes. So... If you guys have any questions, let me know. I will put the product details in the comments. And I hope you guys have a fabulous day. We'll be back, I want to say, either tonight or tomorrow for a smoky eye. My birthday is next week. I'm really feeling this one shade. What do you guys say? It's called Shrewd. And I want to do an eye makeup look with this shade. Hold well, on, let me find it so I can show you guys how we're talking about. Um, I definitely want to do something. I want to wear this on my birthday. So here's this shade, this one right here. And when you swatch it, oh yeah. So stay tuned. That smart, uh, smart, so dark, smoky eye look will be coming in the next two days. Okay. So I hope you guys have a great day. I will see you soon. And thanks for watching with me. Bye.